VK Social Network VK is the second largest social network service in Europe after Facebook. It is available in several languages, but particularly popular among Russian-speaking users around the world, especially in Russia, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Moldova, Belarus, and Israel. Like other social networks, VK allows users to message contacts publicly or privately, create groups, public pages and events, share and tag images, audio and video, and play browser-based games. As of January 2014, VK had at least 239 million accounts. VK is ranked 23, as of November 25, 2013, in Alex's global top 500 sites and is the second most visited website in Russia, after Yandex. According to eBiz MBA rank, it is eighth most popular social networking site in the world. As of January 2014 VK had an average of 55 million daily users. In 2013, Mikhail Myrilashvili's family sold its 40% share in the company, receiving $1.12 billion for it from United Capital Partners, while Lev Levyev sold his 8% share in the same deal, giving United Capital Partners 48% ownership. In January 2014, VK's founder Pavel Durov sold his 12% stake in the company to the CEO of Megafon, which is controlled by Elisha Usmanov. Following the deal, Usmanov and his allies control around 52% of the company. History Founder Pavel Durov launched Contate for beta testing in September 2006, having just graduated from St. Petersburg State University. The following month, the domain name Contact.ru was registered. User registration was initially limited to within university circles exclusively by invitation, but the site still grew quickly. In February 2007 the site reached a user base of over 100,000 and was recognized as the second largest player in Russia's nascent social network market. In the same month the site was subjected to a severe DDoS attack, which briefly put it offline. The user base reached 1 million in July 2007, and 10 million in April 2008. In December 2008 VK overtook rival Odnikle Sneaky as Russia's most popular social networking service. Company VContact was incorporated on January 19, 2007 as a Russian limited liability company. Founder and CEO Pavel Durov owns 20% of shares, although he has majority voting power through proxy votes, and a trio of Russian investors, Vyakslav Myrilashvili, Mikhail Myrilashvili's family, and Lev Leviev, not from Africa Israel Investments, own 60%, 10% and 10% respectively. The company is now completely owned by offshore firm Deraview Limited, based in the British Virgin Islands. The full current ownership is not in the public domain, although Mail.ru Group, formerly Digital Sky Technologies, has publicly acknowledged a stake of 39.99%. Subsequently, the full ownership structure was published. On May 29, 2012 Mail.ru Group announced that it has decided to yield control of the company to Durov by offering him the voting rights on its shares. Combined with Durov's personal 12% stake, this gave him 52% of the votes. In April 2013, United Capital Partners bought 48% of VK shares from Vyakslav Myrilashvili and Lev Levia for $1.12 billion. In 2014 Pavel Durov sold his 12% stake to Ivan Tavrin, the CEO of Russian mobile phone operator Megafon. In April 2014 Durov stated he has sold his stake in the company after coming under increasing pressure from the Russian Federal Security Service to hand over personal details of users who are members of a VK group dedicated to the Euromaidan protest movement. VK cancelled their IPO plans, citing unsatisfactory market conditions after Facebook's IPO blunder. Website Functionality as with most social networks, the site's core functionality is based around private messaging and sharing photos, status updates and links with friends. VK also has tools for managing online communities and celebrity pages. The site allows its users to upload, 
search and stream media content, such as videos and music. VK features an advanced search engine that allows complex queries for finding friends, as well as a real-time news search. Messaging VK private messages can be exchanged between groups of 2 to 30 people. An email address can also be specified as the recipient. Each message may contain up to 10 attachments, photos, videos, audio files, maps, an embedded map with a manually placed marker, and documents, news. VK users can post on their profile walls, each post may contain up to 10 attachments, media files, maps and documents, see above. User mentions and hashtags are supported. In case of multiple photo attachments the previews are automatically scaled and arranged in a magazine-style layout. The news feed can be switched between all news, default, and most interesting modes. The site features a news recommendation engine, global real-time search and individual search for posts and comments on specific users' walls, communities. VK features two types of communities. Groups are better suited for decentralized communities, discussion boards, wiki-style articles, editable by all members etc. Public pages are a newsfeed-oriented broadcasting tool for celebrities and businesses. The two types are largely interchangeable, the main difference being in the default settings, like buttons. VK like buttons for posts, comments, media and external sites operate in a different way from Facebook. Liked content doesn't get automatically pushed to the user's wall, but is saved in the private favorites section instead. The user has to press a second share with friends button to share an item on their wall. Privacy. Users can control the availability of their content within the network and on the Internet. Blanket and granular privacy settings are available for pages and individual content. Languages As of October 2012 the site features three official languages, English, Russian and Ukrainian, as well unofficial user-generated translations into 70 more languages. Advertisements are only shown in the Russian and Ukrainian versions. Russian-speaking users can choose between the standard Russian version and two extras, a Soviet version and a pre-revolutionary version. Other than language tweaks, for example telegrams for messages and comrades for friends, these versions contain other Easter eggs. For example, all private messages in the Soviet version have a stamp saying past server censorship. The pre-revolutionary version uses old-style Russian orthography. Both extra versions are also ad-free. Issues Copyright issues Litigation In 2008 the leading Russian television channel Atiyah sued VK, then Vkontakt, over unlicensed copies of two of its films, uploaded by VK users. In 2010 this dispute was settled by the Russian Supreme Arbitration Court in favor of the social network. The court ruled that VK is not responsible for its users' copyright violations, taking into account that both parties agreed with the technical possibility to identify the user who posted illegal content and who, consequently, must incur the liability. Another ruling early in 2012 went partially in favor of Gala Records, now Warner Music Russia a recording studio, when the same court ordered VK to pay $7,000 for not being active enough in regard to copyrighted materials. Efforts against copyright infringement VK is DMCA compliant and offers a content removal tool for copyright holders. Large-scale copyright holders may gain access to bulk content removal tools. Since 2010 VK has also entered several partnerships with legal content providers, such as television networks and streaming providers. Most notably, the video-on-demand provider Ivy Roo, that is secure licensing rights with all of Hollywood majors in 2012. These partnerships allow providers to remove user-uploaded content from VK and substitute it with legal embedded copies from the provider's site. This legal content can be either ad-sponsored, subscription-based or free, depending on the provider's choices. VK does not display its own advertising in the site's music or video sections, nor in the videos themselves. 
On October 2013, Contact was cleared of copyright infringement charges by a court in St. Petersburg. The judge ruled that the social network is not responsible for the content uploaded by its users. Promotional use by bands and musicians Musicians that use VK for promotion often upload their own tracks to their official VK pages. Notable examples include the international celebrities like Tiesto, Shakira, Paul Van Dyke, The Prodigy or Dan Balan. Blacklisted On May 24, 2013, it was reported in the media that the site had been mistakenly put on a list of websites banned by the Russian government. Some critics have accused the blacklist of being simply the latest in a series of suspicious incidents to have happened to the website in recent months, as the Russian government looked to increase their stake in, and control of the site. Italian Controversy On November 18, 2013, following an order from the Court of Rome, VK was blocked in Italy after a complaint from Medusa Films stating that VK was hosting an illegal copy of one of its films. Founder Pavel Durov Dismissal Founder Pavel Durov was dismissed as CEO in April 2014 after he had failed to retract a, according to himself, his prank April Fool's letter of resignation. Durov then claimed the company had been effectively taken over by Vladimir Putin allies, and suggested his ousting was the result of his refusal to hand over personal details of users to the Russian Federal Security Service and his refusal to shut down a VK group dedicated to anti-corruption activist Alexei Navalny. In the media On Gorka, Adrian Chen wrote an article about the growing popularity of contact among American men to try to find Russian girls. Popularity According to Alexa Internet Ranking, VK is one of the most visited websites in the post-Soviet countries. It holds the first position in Russia, Ukraine and Belarus, and third in Kazakhstan. Profile Privacy Policy After submitting profile deletion, you have to wait 210 days to complete submission.